Our nation wonders why there is so much evil and violence when they are trying to take God out of everything. We want to take God out of this nation. We want to do this by taking a God we trust off money and sandblasting God's name off every monument. We are taking God out of schools. We are choosing to steer when we should be in fear. Be in fear of the Lord God Almighty. If this nation doesn't reach out for God's righteous right hand, we will go from the greatest nation to the weakest and the least nation of all, just as Egypt did in Ezekiel 29. It's simple. Choose God and we will be restored, shown where to go. We need a new start from God's grace, not a new leader. This country will not be saved by a new leader. It will be saved by going back to one nation under God, just as our founding fathers said so. A miracle can happen now. The Spirit of the Lord is with this nation right now. A miracle of healing and restoring can happen now. But it all starts with fear, fear of the Lord God Almighty. God is not just a God of love, but He's also a God of wrath. When we disobey, just as our country has done, fear the Lord, fear the Lord, fear the Lord now. It all starts with fearing the Lord God Almighty. That's why our restoring of this nation begins. Trump or Hillary, it will not matter who gets in if we do not fear, obey, and love the Lord. Destroy Israel, God's country, and see what God does to this nation. Continue to kill babies by abortion and see what God does to this nation. You have to pick to serve God or money. In God we trust, in God we put our hope. By God we will be healed, by God we will obey, and by God we will be restored. Your kingdom come and your will be done here now, God. Convict our nation's heart to grab your righteous right hand today. It's reaching out to us. All we have to do is grab your hand today. Don't put your wrath upon us, Lord. Put your love upon us. Put your healing upon us now, Lord. We are fighters, not quitters, America. The fighting is done by spreading love to all people of all colors and all religions, not wrath and anger. 1 Corinthians 13, 13. Three things will last forever. Faith, hope, and love. And the greatest of these is love. I love you, America. Do you want to win people over to Jesus Christ? Here's the key. Speak truth and love, not hate. I feel God's opening the gates of heaven. Jesus is coming soon to rescue you. Believe in Him today to spend eternity in heaven, not hell. Run to His wide open arms today. Tomorrow may be too late. The open gate awaits. This is not your only life to live. You are actually dying only to go live for eternity. There is no time to wait. For your assigned death date, you won't be late. Your heart is waiting for you to fill that void right now with Jesus Christ. I beg you please to be set free from this evil world to go to heaven with me. Wide open arms are waiting from your Lord right now. Right now is the start of your new life obeying God and not the ways of this world. Right now is the start to your new life obeying God and not the ways of this world. Right now you are stepping into a new chapter of your life. Right now you are moving from the road of destruction to the road of reconstruction. Right now you are going from sorrow to joy. Today is the day. Today is a new day. Today is a new you. Today is a new start. Today starts a new you. Jesus loves you and I do too. Many right now are choosing you, Jesus.